this crowd of about 70,000 roaring its approval is out onto the field at Qualcomm Stadium come the San Diego Chargers ready to take on last year's Super Bowl MVP Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts on NBC's Sunday Night Football. You have to worry about the guys you have right now and they have to step up and play well. And as Harry kicks off this residual smoke from the fireworks and not fog. Darren Sproles to run it back past the 30 and a good run back for San Diego on the opening kickoff. He's past the 40, inside the 30. He's going to go all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. 89 yards for Darren Sproles at 5'6 and 180 pounds. The die flanks Manning on. Second down and 11 to the outside. The catch is made and into San Diego territory. Eric Weddle is starting in there because the Chargers play a nickel. Five defensive backs. Manning throws and that's part of the 33 yard line. Then you can stack and just go after the quarterback more than you normally could. In a light drizzle now on third down and seven. Manning throws. And it is intercepted at the goal line. And this is Cromarty. And Cromarty is going to come out of the end zone. This is the man, of course, who ran the missed field goal back 109 yards. He had designs on doing something like that again here. Sort of ill advised, though, as you go down and you make the interception in the end zone. 47 catches. The Vikings last week limited him to one. And third down and seven to the outside. That pass is. This time no huddle but it's tipped in the air and it's intercepted by Sean Phillips and Phillips who as we said missed last week's game because of a groin pull with a tip a pick and a run back down to the 32 yard line for San Diego. That's a big thing. These, these two charger tackles have to get these two defensive ends in the coach. And over left tackle goes Tomlinson on a second and nine. Third and ten from the 15 yard line. Rivers to the end zone into a lot of traffic and incomplete. He tried to get it to Antonio Gates. And his hands on it. This will be a 33 yard attempt from Luke Caden. And that kick is good. So they turn Manning second interception. They're okay to play if the doctor's okay him and the player says he's okay. Dallas Clark says he wasn't okay and the doctor said he couldn't play. Manning almost gets sacked in the end zone on a third and 13. That, and they, they need that same game plan defensively tonight. Sacked him four times in each of the last two meetings. And the scrolls around the opening kickoff. Back for a touchdown. Fielding the Hunter Smith punt inside the 20. Inside the 10. He does it again. Darren Sproles with his second touchdown of the night. A 45-yard return. North Turner was right. And North Turner said that's where we're better than they are, and that's where we'll beat them. Uh-oh. And now it is Cyphers. And they've been they've been doing a good job thus far. Fletcher scored four balls tonight, as many as he caught in the first eight games of the season. And under pressure, Manning goes down. You had three Chargers coming in, and you had Marcus Harris, number 92. It looks like he's trying out for the U.S. gymnastics team. 13-yard sack. Kenton Keith is in the game at running back, and this is Wayne who gets taken down by Eric Weddle. Indy goes without a huddle. And he's playing a lot because he's a, he's a nickelback because he's a good tackler. They can play him on all downs. Manning going deep and that is picked off. This is Antonio Cromarty doing it again. His second interception of the night takes it down to the 37 yard line. And for Peyton Manning playing with as we said at the top that short deck. Where in the heck are we going to go. What do we do next and without Harrison. In there. Second down and eight. Rivers deep over the middle and it's tipped and Indy with every chance to intercept it. And it is not, it's incomplete. It, the whistle has blown. The whistle has blown, so this is all for show. And running. Not <laughs> a bad back. show, Al. That's a pretty good show. This is Clint Session. He's, he's out of gas, but he takes it to the seven yard line, but all the officials are back. And we'll go back and take a look at it again. Right, and there's officials all over the field, players all over the field. All the ball never hit the ground. Right, and he never gets and and the ruling on the field is an interception. However, there's been an inadvertent whistle 
that have taken place while the football is in the end zone. The ruling now will be that it is an interception. The ball declared dead in the end zone. Because he has to be his go-to guy tonight. Third down and three. And he goes down as he gets it away. And that is a phenomenal one-handed interception by Cromarty. You're always hearing about a guy who's a great athlete. Well, I tell you what, when you watch that run back last week, when you watch what he does tonight, when you watch that pick, that is a great athlete. After Peyton Manning, and then on the other end of this, you get just a great reception, a great interception. Look at that. Wow. They don't want to give him any life now. And now let him back in the game. It's a low snap. With his throws to the outside. It's caught by Tomlinson, but Tomlinson can't get the first down. That you feel that you can pick up three yards on. Let's see what it is. It comes out of the shotgun. It goes to the outside, and they are able to convert as they go to third down and ten at the 34-yard line. Rivers steps up, guns it over the middle, open is Vincent Jackson makes the catch. On third and seven. From the gun. Rivers over the middle. That's caught. Trying to get the first down. It's going to be very close with forward progress as they were a year ago. And second down and goal. LT again. And this time LT for a TD. He got in behind Shane Olivier. And he throws. That's caught. Fletcher. Ball to the 36-yard line. You wonder if they can move, work him into the offense from time to time. Manning, pump fakes, under pressure, gets sacked at the 40-yard line. That's Carlos Pope. He plays a backup spot to Sean Merriman. He wasn't going to throw it into double coverage, but he had to hold it a little longer than he wanted to. And that is caught on the outside by Kenton Keith is in the backfield with him. Manning throws, that's caught, and that's going to be a first down. Bunch to the left this time. Same formation, but going the other way. And Manning does the same thing as he goes to Fletcher. So Fletcher. And Brian Fletcher is taking those things. Second and six. Over the middle. Caught by Wayne. Touchdown, Colts. That's what the Colts needed to get back in this game. Just a methodical drive, just like they did. That was perfect. From the 20-yard line, first down for the San Diego Chargers. Rivers, fake toss. And he throws it out to Gates. If they can, converting on a third down and long to avoid having him take another defensive timeout. Rivers flushed out. Tomlinson on the screen. And Ladanian with some good yardage, but he is stopped well short of the first down. by. And on that last drive when the Colts scored, he played pretty well. He's doing okay over there. Manning deep over the middle, he finds the open man, and that's Wayne who gets into the scene and takes it all the way to the 50-yard line, where he's tackled by Florence, and leave it to Reggie Wayne to find the open. Manning buys time, throws, that's caught, 31-yard line, and again, it's Reggie Wayne. Four-man line, and a four-man rush. And Manning has time, and goes deep, and that is incomplete. Manning has to think about the first down or working outside. He's not going to have time if it's fourth down. He throws underneath. It's caught by Wayne, and he's tackled at the 22-yard line. And now without a timeout, they've got to run the fire drill here to get the field goal unit in. And this is like a Jason Elam moment. Vinatieri will try to get one off from 42 yards. Clock down to four, three, two, one. They get it off. High snap. Smith gets it down, but the kick is no good off to the left. So Vinatieri misses at the end of the first half. So now they're down to 16 on offense. Gandy will start at right guard, and that is Wayne who gets banged so hard that he can't even hold on to the ball. By Sproles, that's the big difference. Second and 10, Manning throwing, and it's caught at uh, third down and one with a die behind Manning. And a die will break pass as he so often does and sets up in the shotgun on a third down and two steps away from the pressure and then throws that one look at the Chargers are really packing the line of scrimmage 
But Peyton Manning has to get out of that one. And they do go for it on fourth and two, and it is caught. Talking to him before the game on the field, he really wasn't prepared to play without Dallas Clark. Second and ten. Pressure on Manning, and it's juggled and intercepted by Matt Wilhelm. And for the first time in his career, Peyton Manning has thrown five interceptions in a game. His second catch of the night. The ball is at the 44. Tomlinson to the outside. He goes. And Ladanian over the 50-yard line. At the 45-yard line. The fake to Tomlinson. And then Rivers under pressure. And he's going to get sacked. as Robert Mathis. For the AFC South, maybe the toughest division, at least top to bottom in the league right now. Manning dancing around. Throws. It's a wobbly pass, but right on target. And Wayne gets free. Other wants to get the ball to the outside. He does. And that is a first down. Moorhead will keep his eye on the ball. Under three to play in the third. Manning throws, and that is caught, and that is Wayne. Other guy just coming out from Canada. That's right. And he gives it to the former CFL star. He takes the ball from the 36 yard line. Manning stepping away from pressure. Throws on the run to the 21 yard line as we start the fourth quarter. Manning, a little dump off underneath. Keith to the outside. He goes. And Keith will get into the end zone for a touchdown. So it is now a 10 point game and they can make it a one possession game with a two point conversion attempt which Manning is out on the field. Colts just went 90 yards in 12 plays. The fake inside. He lost it to Fletcher. There's a flag down. So for the moment. Pass interference or defensive holding. holding. Defense number 31. Penalty is declined. England, they really didn't get it. Third down and 10. Oh, and he, the ball comes out of his grasp, and can it be recovered in the end zone? And it is for a touchdown by Gary Brackett. So Rivers loses the ball, had a chance to recover it. Here comes Manning for a two-point conversion, which would tie the game of all crazy things. Now you thought they'd be cautious down there and just run and get it out of there. This is where you need the pass protection. If you're the Colts, this is where you need the pass rush. A dive. And they're able to stop him. So the Chargers have the lead, but it is a very. Jeff Charleston takes his spot. From the 39. Rivers under pressure again. Throws off his back foot. And that's Antonio Gates, and the Chargers are looking for a flag. They're looking for punt cover. Cyphers. Booms one. Into the rainy sky, the bounces of the 15, and the Chargers will down it at the one. I'll tell you what, Cyphers is probably as valuable to guys they have on the team. He does that a lot. 61 yards, four man line, four man rush. Manning under pressure, throws at the 23 yard line. Reggie Wayne, Chargers say no, the officials say yes. In a game in which they're trailing by only two. San Diego out of challenges. He lost a timeout to boot. Wayne. Looked like his foot and or ankle or leg just gave out. Second and a deuce. A dive. Well, he completes the pass. All depending on where Manning was at that moment. Manning starts to slip then throws and is still able to complete it. From the 42. Manning. Going deep down the right side, and it is incomplete. And Moorhead looks for the flag. He's covered by Eric Weddle from the 14 yard line. They fake it to Tomlinson. Rivers throws, and that's caught. Second in the short one. The fullback, Neal. Coming up with a dip in his head. Beat that. That's football. And that is tipped and it is intercepted. Picked off by Clint Session. And Session goes down and the whistle sounds at the 42 yard line. There's nothing to challenge here because you don't have a challenge for starters. 
I think what they're saying here is that he was down by contact. Right. I think he'll throw for the first down. Three minutes to go. On third down and eight. Steps away from pressure. A die on the outside. He has the first down, but no timeouts. Third and three. A die. And a die is very close to a first down. Then if you don't make it, settle for a field goal, you have a two-way goal. This is something you can look at the spot upstairs. So in other words, Turner can't do anything about this. And again, what the rule is is where the ball is when this first part of his body touches. There's the stick. It's right on, as you can see, it's right on the six. And you just look where the ball is right there in the hash mark. You see the hash mark there right here. That's a six yard line, that right. hash mark. And so it, it has to reach that hash mark. After review, it has been determined that the runner was down just shy of the six yard line. We are going to place the ball at that spot. No, they aren't going to snap it. No. Although there is a penalty. Well, it's a, I thought they moved on the offensive front. Defense start. Number yeah. 86 of the offense. 29 yard attempt. And Benetieri's kick is no good. Wow. That is unbelievable. I think Peyton Manning just realized that he's going to get about 20 more seconds if they can stop him here. Tomlinson, he can't get the first, so they're going to get the ball back. Wayne's the front guy. Now he becomes the back guy. Now they try to hide him. Manning looking that way. Manning throwing down the left sideline, and that's out of bounds with 16 seconds. Manning. Down the sideline again, and that's almost picked off. And well, they were up and down and up and down again, and now they're out. Four man rush. Manning. Deep, and only the Chargers are there, and Clinton Hart with the interception. And the Chargers have pulled off the greatest escape since Charles Bronson. Uh, you are right. Wow. If they'd have lost this game, I don't want to tell you. Meanwhile, all the credit in the world to the Indianapolis Colts.